In 960, the Song Dynasty was founded by Emperor Taizu. The Song Dynasty reunified most of China, but、um, there are two more kingdoms in the north: Western Xia and Liao. Song attacked Liao for some territories closer to the Great Wall. The campaign was a failure, and Liao imposed heavy annual tributes from the Song treasury. Within the Liao Empire, some tribes revolted against their overlords to establish the Jin Dynasty in 1115, which fought the Song and took the northern provinces. The era will end with a Mongol invasion. West Xia fell in 1227, the Jin Dynasty in 1234, and finally the Southern Song Dynasty fell in 1279. The Chinese have been among the world's greatest producers of new innovations and inventions. The Peak Dynasty of China was arguably the Song Dynasty. Which lasted from 960 to 1279 and saw its distinct period of economic growth. Here we are looking at Qingming Shanghe Tu, ascending the river at Qingming Festival, or up the river during Qingming Festival. The famous Long Scroll, that is a panoramic painting. Attributed to the Song Dynasty artist Zhang Zeduan, it captures the daily life of people from the Song Dynasty at the capital Beijing, today's Kaifeng in Henan Province. The theme celebrates the festive spirit and the prosperous street scene at the Qingming Festival. The entire piece reveals the lifestyle of all levels of society, from rich to poor, as well as different economic activities in rural areas and the city. It offers glimpses of clothing and architecture, which has been constantly used for research purpose. The painting is a collection of more than 770 figures, over 90 cattle, 20 plus boats and ships, and more than 100 buildings. The right section is the rural area of the city. There are crop fields and unhurried rural folk, predominantly farmers, goat herds, and pig herders. In the middle section, there are businesses of all kinds, selling wine, grain, second-hand goods, cookware, bows and arrows, lanterns, musical instruments, gold and silver, ornaments, dyed fabrics, paintings, medicine, needles, and artifacts, as well as many restaurants. Actually, half of the buildings in this painting are restaurants. Studies have shown that three meals a day only came into fashion in Song Dynasty, thanks to an abundant supply of food. The left half is the urban area around the city gate. Many economic activities, such as people loading cargoes onto the boat, shops, and even a tax office, can be seen in this area. In addition, there are hotels, temples, private residences, and official buildings varying in grandeur and style, from huts to mansions with grand front and backyards. This mixture of business and private residences is commonly seen today in China, but non-existence before Song. Curfew system wasn't lifted until Song Dynasty, 
to allow people the freedom of the nightlife that we all enjoy today. Song Capital looks almost like a modern-day China three-tier city. People and commodities are transported by various modes: wheeled wagons, beasts of labor, in particular, a large number of donkeys and mules, sedan chairs and chariots. The river is packed with fishing boats and passenger carrying ferries, with men at the river bank pulling the larger ships. The original version of this painting now is in the collection of the Palace Museum in Beijing, that is part of the Forbidden City. In 2010, an electronic version of this painting was created for exhibit in the China Pavilion at the Shanghai Expo. Some people call China during this time early modern economy, with a few stating that the Chinese were on the verge of achieving an industrial revolution many centuries prior to the one that took place in Britain in the 1700s. But how likely was such a revolution, and what prevented a possible industrialization from taking place? First, some background: the Song government was one of the many firsts. It was the first in history to use banknotes made of paper, and the first Chinese government to have a permanent standing navy. The Song was using gunpowder before anyone else do, and were the first to use the compass to find north. The population of China doubled during this time, fed by extended rice cultivation and great food supplies. It was this population explosion that fueled the economic revolution that we will look at today. Song is the richest dynasty in Chinese history, and had Forbes World's billionaire existed, Song Xianzong. The fifth emperor would be on that list. Under his reign, China contributed GDP worth more than one fourth of the global GDP in Song's time. And Song also issued a set of economic laws to regulate the trading of salt, liquor, and tea, which are very advanced back then. And of significant economical prominence.